I had a re request to do a nebula die. And I'm going to do it with Floetrol and Neon Key Lime, Neon Lemon Zest, Caribbean Neon Royal Purple. And I will mix them and show everything how, how that's done. I have hot water sitting here. I have measuring cup for the Floetrol. We have the ProChem dye instructions. We have the rest of my dyes, which we're not using. A lot of them are already mixed up here in acetone bottles that we use with the glue. But with Floetrol, I will be mixing up separate ones. I have rearranged and gotten a few things set up. I have the ink ready, and now we add the hot water or Or the bottom to where it covers it up because you want it to be able to dissolve in the hot water. And just swirl it because you'll get chunks in your ink and that's because you didn't have enough hot water and didn't dissolve the ink but Floetrol bed makes really nice cells and you use silicone. So I have silicone oil, which will go into the darkest, which is either the Caribbean or the Neon Royal Purple, I haven't decided yet. Or I could do it in the lightest, in the yellow. It's what's going to uh, be the most dramatic. What is it? Even though it looks darker, this is the neon green. Neon key lime is pretty cool. Lemon zest is definitely looking like what it is. Now, at the Floetrol. So, for the instructions for Floetrol beds, it's four ounces of Floetrol per this mixture. So we've got up to there. Don't wait too long. But you gotta get something in the mix. Alright, and then with what little flow trail I still have left, that is gonna be when you prep the bed. Just want to get the inside. And let it sit. Now we get it all mixed together. Decide which one I want to put the silicone in. And you'll see the next steps of the process. Yellow is the odd one out. Yellow has got to be the one. So, that's where silicone oil comes into place and it changes the consistency of this mixture to have a little bit lighter. It makes the cells appear. This will float on top of the rest of them. It's a chemical reaction and it's awesome. How you make cells. Alright, next step, once you are fully mixed up, you can go on to prepping your bed. 
So there are bubbles in the surface. Take your brulee torch. If you don't have one, that's fine. The bubbles will show up though on the disc and it's an effect. I actually like that effect though. When applying heat, pops the bubbles safely. And for this method, you actually have to use this blowtorch a little more because that's how you make the cells appear easier. The other one actually gets pulled over the rest of this, and that's a really cool process too. So I'm gonna go green. And you just wanna do a line. So, a color that's close to green on the color palette. You want it on one edge. A little more green. The green and the blue kind of disappeared from the surface so when you pull the saran wrap over it doesn't really do much when it's underneath. But there's enough. And now for the Reynolds saran wrap. This is very key because this one has a cutter and it cuts it off in sections and we're going to pull the saran wrap across it's going to drag the yellow across the green and then the blue and then the cells will form and we'll see that. So the yellow has silicone oil, the rest does not. About as flat as you can and you want to touch all the yellow part. Because I'm a little crazy, I'll let it sit there for a second, and I'll go back the other way with the other side. Now to develop the cells more, we we'll use the brulee torch again. Grabbing the saran wrap is always a trickier part, so I like to have this on the edge of a table so then you can have a clean grab. Now, that's cool. Brought it back upstairs to the heat lamp area and the guys in the Discord have chosen the virus. I agree. And it's going to look freaking cool when it's done. All right, it's in. And we'll sit here. It will bake for about three hours. And we'll see the results later. All right, we are back. It has been three hours since I have put the virus in the ink bed. This time we're going to be washing it off with cold water, we're doing it into the, the container. Floetrol is more potent, it shouldn't go directly into the drain. I always want to dilute it more before putting it into the drain, so... Oh 
Oh yeah. Like pastel colored. This is the virus. So what does it look like under UV light? Yeah. Yes, I have a 128 LEDs on this massive UV flashlight and it just lights up all the discs. This is the coolest because it has the cells and they're all crossed and they're all small.